Hey everyone, my name is Richard Dewart Brown and I'm so excited to be able to come to you today. And the cool thing about this is I am lucky enough, blessed enough, fortunate enough to have a city that loves the legacy of Amina Brenda Lynn Robinson. And I'm right in her studio that is part of a piece of history here in Columbus. So I'm, I'm living here, living my best life. And this is March, my birthday month. And guess what we're going to make today? We're going to work with button people. And um, it's inspired by Amina's button, love for buttons. I've met student after student that said they used to give Amina buttons, but they came to see where they actually used her. She used their buttons in her art. And sometimes they couldn't find it. So we get a chance to relive that world. Mm -hmm. And button people for me are people. I like people. I like community. Mm -hmm. And so these are some examples. Well, the one we're going to make today is kind of this size. Yeah, you can push it up into, like, to the screen. To the screen. It's this size right here. Mm -hmm. And so this is to give you an idea of how this is going to go. Now, I'm going to show you a few more that are a little more intricate because when I'm with family on the weekends, we start snazzing them up and painting the wood and making the pieces go inside and all of them. Um, but I'll come show you some more. Let me just get started. So the first thing we're going to use, and if you get a box with your kit in, you can try anything. You can use wire. These are often called pipe cleaners. Um, or if you have floral wire, I have some of those in here in this box right here. And I'm going to open it and pull this aside. The cool thing about this is we will start with a bead or a ball, like one of these big beads. Mm -hmm. And um, on here, I put some yarn, pieces of yarn. And the yarn, this yarn is pretty skinny, but I do love this colorful yarn right here. So I think what I'm going to do is just take this yarn and make, that's a lot of yarn. So I'm going to take this and make this. I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to take one pipe cleaner mm -hmm. and fold it right around my yarn like this. And I'm going to do it again because when I work with people, they don't know what I'm saying. So I'm going to, to take this and twist it around the yarn. So the yarn becomes the for the head. You see that? You see that? So it's, I took one pipe cleaner and this yarn is pretty thick and what we're going to do is literally take one of these wooden balls. I think I want a different color. You see, I want a gray one. I want a gray one. And I'm going to put my pipe cleaner through here like this. You follow? You follow? Are we there? So just to recap, I took one pipe cleaner, some yarn. It could have been thinner yarn like this, but I'm so attracted to this thick yarn. And we took one ball like this bead that has a hole in it already. And then we did that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little white bead, maybe whatever other color I got. There's, there's other colors, but that's going to be my neck. And I'm going to get another pipe cleaner. I could either cut it in half. So I'm holding this in my hand, but I'm going to lay that down. Because, you know, it's good to take my time. I'm going to fold this in half. So, and use this to come back up here and hold my hair, head, and neck. And take this pipe cleaner and make this wrap it around real tight. So it becomes an open arm like this. The next thing I'm going to do is hook it up with a body cavity. This is like the upper torso area and put it straight through the legs. You see that? And a lot of times when I'm watching videos, they go so fast, I have to stop it and slow it and go back. But now what I want to do is just open the legs like this. So the person you can see has legs, arms, and a body. Well, before I get going too far, I want to cut this. This, this person has some strong locks going on up here. 
and they're really up in the air. There was a person called Pippi Longstock and she used to wear her hair up. But we're not talking about Pippi right now. We're going to move on. So the next thing I want to do is grab a colorful straw that will look that will complement this. I got these straws and let me see. I think oh there's some more scissors in there. It's good to know. What do I want? Oh I like this. This straw right here has these zigzag lines on here. And what I want to do is lay the body down and figure out how long I want my arms to be and if I cut whatever I cut for one arm I'm going to cut for the other arm so I've got I've cut one one straw with this is going to be arms now if I cut them in half again I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to hold them well, I was trying to cut them both at the same time so they'll be the same shape. That might be clumsy or awkward, but I'm going to hold my fingers so I can cut both arms and be careful that they don't fall away. So I've got four arms pretty close to the same size. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but I do. I'm going to bring this person right back up here. And I'm going to slide arms on now. One this way and one that way. And that's like the shoulder arm, the forearm or the back part of the arm up here. And then we're going to come down and make this part of the arm. And so my arms can bend, they can move, they can be like that. What I want to do next is, so my arms don't fall off, is look through this cool bin of buttons. I'm afraid if I pick them up, they might fall everywhere. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little messy and bring them here because I like this part right here of looking through buttons. It's like a treasure chest. I like to go in there and see what they got. Sometimes I try to find two buttons that are similar, but it doesn't really have to be. And so um, let me see. I'm not satisfied with what I'm seeing, so I'm gonna dig deeper and pull, pull buttons. I wonder if you got a button collection around. If not. You don't know what you're missing. But I'm going to use this purple color right here. And I'm going to take one button and put it through like you're sewing it on thread with thread and then wrap the pipe cleaner around. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to put the button on the end by inserting this pipe cleaner through it. Whoops, it's going, it's going in pretty deep. When I say deep, it's going through another hole, two holes. Like that's one hole in. So now, if I get the button to come through like that, I can twist it so it'll lock the arm on. Now, so, and this is the pipe cleaner will move, it can slide up and down the arm. And now the arm, the hand has, the button hand is there. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. And I like that purplish color. So I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to grab a gray. I like this gray too. So this button has purple and gray. And I'm gonna, so I put it in there first, you see that? Good, I'm glad you see that. And now I'm gonna take the other end and just sew it through, or I'm saying sew, but place it straight through the hole like that. So it's like around there. And now I'm gonna twist it a little bit. Oh, those nails are actually rough. But here we go, we got nice arms. Now the arms can go up down and all around and you see those hands let's wave to the people hello everyone you like my gray hair well it's colorful hair you like my gray head maybe okay now you can always be creative now this person right here i think this is a girl and we want to give her a nice purple button skirt right here we're going to start off by putting one of these big buttons right through her legs like this and watch this look at that shape take that body take shape that's a beautiful beautiful purple part of her dress and I think what I want to do is grab a couple more buttons let me see so this part right here you can kind of think of things you want to do like if I grabbed a different bead oh you know what I'm gonna look in here and grab I've got beads, 
small beads, pony beads. I've got big button beads. I've got thread thread spools. I've got a little bit of everything because this is the place I like to hang out. Now, I'm gonna come over here and look inside these button tray and find something else that will be cool to match this skirt she has on. So I think I'm kind of liking this, let me see, it's dark blue cool. Mm, yeah, maybe, but no, don't like it. I know what, I'm feeling this pink right here. She's gonna get two pink beads. There's one right there and one right up this, right here on this leg. Can you, can you see those beads right there? They're gonna go there where, where she's, she, it's her short pants she's wearing. And I'm gonna go back to the black and white straw that I have, that I've covered up. Or I can change the straw, but I like her to match because I noticed a, a unique color combination is pink and black. I've seen somebody use this. I've seen a young girl use pink. So I'm gonna cut a straw for, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay the person down. I'm gonna come over here and cut some a, another well the straw is going to be the same size for a leg by putting the straw like this i can cut this piece off so this piece might be extra Ooh, it, went, it went it went away and i'm going to now since i've made these legs the same size i'm going to cut one one in half by you know it's dangerous for me to try to cut two at once i think because i just want to make sure but if i hold it and put it in, the end, in my hand like this, I can cut two straws. Now, one is gonna go up like this. So, let me show you where we went with this. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? How she's looking? How she, is she? How she's, or how is she looking? Well, anyway, that's where I'm going with this. I'm going to grab two more kneecap beads because she is coordinated and put them right up here like this. And look at those pants. She wants to move quickly. Now, can you sit still just for a little bit longer? Thank you. I'm going to put it down right here and I'm coming over here because you know what? She's got like, like the thigh leg, but then these little legs are more for her. They're going to be a little bit shorter because I want her to have more room for her nice. She's going to get some special shoes in a minute. So this is going to be her thigh area and then this is her leg. So I'm going to hold this like this so my buttons don't fall off. And I'm my pipe cleaner, I'm trying to make sure that I have enough room down here to use this edge to go around for her shoes. Now, this lady, I've seen her looking at these high heels these cowrie shell high heels. I was like, you like those? She said they're very natural looking. So she liked the natural color that comes with them to match her black and white pants. So I'm gonna fold her, the edges up like this and I'm gonna look in here for a cowrie shell and wrap it right around here. I think I am. I think I can and I think I will. So she can have some nice shoes now. So look, do you see what I'm doing? I'm wrapping that around like this. I'm gonna bring it all the way around like, so the shoe can now, she has some nice shoes. Uh-oh, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see. Shoe number one, what do you think? She's styling and profiling, isn't she? Yeah, I knew you would like that. I knew you would. So now we're going to come over here <laughs> to the next sh shoe and I think they match. Oh, I like that shoe. I think I do. I'm going to put this piece right inside here and turn it the same way because you don't want to have two left feet, right? I seen a little girl, she was dressed to the nines, but she had two left feet, but I was scared to tell her because I didn't want her to give me that look. You know, if you have a girl, give her a lady a look when something don't match, they give you a look or tell them. You see that? Um, this shoe is trying to go on the other side, but here we go. Here we go right here. What do you think? And, um, you know, some people are really, really nice. They try different things. So she can tap dance, she can break dance, and she can flip around too. So, like, 
which we just got started. Now this hair, we have to do something with it. So I'm going to give her one of these kind of do's because yeah, I think I like that right here. Just take it, I'm gonna take another piece of this pipe cleaner that was left, wrap some around here. I think, I, well I thought I was. Maybe I'm not. I'm gonna use a piece of yarn. Let me close something up. And I'm, I'm moving things out of my way so I can think for a minute. Now what else do I wanna do? Now I have some, some little duckling tape, some fabric you can put around here. You could paint that spool so it can match her to the nine. But I think what I wanna do is grab a pink, one or two pink pipe cleaners and begin that journey of making her outfit match by giving her a jumpsuit. See that? Yeah. I went to one of my friend's house. They make a little mini furniture and everything. I was always taken by those little train sets and mini furniture. Now this is gonna wrap around, around here, on a spool without using paint. And it's gonna be part of her outfit, her jumpsuit. So I gotta bring the other one around and I'm just wrapping it around. So realistically, realistically, and I think that she wants to have a book bag. So it's gonna be a button book bag because she's styling, like I said earlier, and profiling. And I think I like this pink button back here. So I'm going to put it through the hole, buttonhole, and bring it around. See that? Bring it around a little bit. I would sing for you right now, but I like to sing while I'm working. What kind of songs do you like to sing? So since I wrapped this around to the back, I'm gonna hold it up better so you can see it. That's the back of her outfit. And I'm taking a pipe cleaner and making this jumpsuit kind of have like a little sleeve up here and the button thing, button book bag in the back. And I'm going to put the pipe cleaner underneath the button so it doesn't poke my fingers. So, so here we go. This is a one of our button people. Now I don't like her hair. I think our hair is going to go like this. And I'm going to tie a, I don't want to tie a heavy. I'm going to put a string in here. Oh, that's so cool. I think I'm going to tie one more time because, you know, this hair can go everywhere if you don't use the right gel medium on there. You know what I mean? You have to use that right kind of look. Look, she's ready to go to school. She got her book bag. She's got her nice little cool gloves on. She got her new high heels. I bet you nobody's ready to look this good, are they? So there we go. I'm gonna turn her all the way around. And there we go. That's our first button person.